We're watching tropical uh, potential tropical cyclone 16. It is expected or forecasted to become Nestor later today. The hurricane hunters are flying out there this afternoon to investigate it. Once we actually get some data on this, it's probably going to become Nestor. Here's the latest track. You notice tracking the center of the storm inside the cone. That's where the center goes. That is just off the mouth of the Mississippi. So of course the rainfall, the winds can stretch out beyond the center of that cone. We're talking about Right it down south of the area by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening before it makes landfall somewhere along the Florida Panhandle is what it looks like at the moment. Notice we're not really forecasting this to become very strong 50 mile per hour sustained winds. That is a tropical storm. The environment's just not conducive for significant strengthening. There's a lot of wind shear. There's a lot of dry air and this time of year. It's difficult for these systems to become really strong tropical cyclones, but it is nonetheless forecast to become a tropical storm. Notice here precision cast showing some of those bands of rain off the coast later tonight still dry here. Now by tomorrow afternoon, notice we're starting to see some of those heavier rains, especially along the coast, skirting the New Orleans area and the North Shore. You're dry tomorrow afternoon for the most part, and then that does continue through tomorrow afternoon before things finally starting to quiet down tomorrow evening. That thing moves off towards uh, the Florida Panhandle going into tomorrow night, and we're dry by Saturday is what it's looking like. So through the rest of the day, we're cloudy, we're cool. Rain chances gradually pick up tonight, but best rain chances are going to be tomorrow afternoon after lunchtime we say so a closer look hour by hour showing some of those downpours approaching the coast tomorrow morning. We're dry here in New Orleans. The wind's starting to get a little bit breezy. Now by the afternoon hours, notice starting to see a little bit of rain, but the heaviest of it just off the coast and over towards South Mississippi. And then as we go into tomorrow afternoon into the early parts of the evening, we're still seeing some of those downpours across the area before things finally start to clear out tomorrow night. And then by Saturday, notice still maybe some clouds, some wraparound showers Saturday morning, but by Saturday afternoon and evening, I think we're we're going to start to dry out and see some sunshine. So the rain chances, their gradient for these rain chances are going to be. It's going to be a very tight area where we don't see any rain and then we see maybe a little lot of rain along the coast. So greatest rain chances tomorrow along the coast. You get closer to New Orleans, about a 40 to 50% chance, and then that continues to drop off as you go to the North Shore. And that's simply because these systems like this, they're very lopsided. All the rain is on the east side. All the severe weather is on the east side. So that's what we're expecting with this one. Notice storm prediction or the weather prediction center forecasting not a whole lot of rain here in New Orleans, maybe up to an inch or so isolated higher amounts are possible and then one to three inches as you head towards the coast and off the Mississippi coast. So our impacts we're expecting from potential tropical 16, which is likely going to become Nestor inland areas, maybe up to an inch coast one to three inches coastal flooding. That's another thing we're looking at one to two feet on the lake and then minor flooding along the coast as well. One to three feet. Those winds gusting 30 miles per hour here in the city, but higher as you head towards the coast. That's why we have a tropical storm warning down to Grand Isle up towards the mouth of the Pearl River, uh, and that's where we're expecting the gustiest winds. You can see here the forecast showing the tropical storm force winds just off the mouth of the Mississippi, not really expecting sustained winds over 30 mile, 39 miles per hour here in the city, but we're we're certainly going to feel some gusts tomorrow. I do think here's what one of our models is showing by tomorrow morning, seeing gusts upwards of about 23 at the airport. Lakefront gusting maybe 35 miles per hour. We're sustained around 15 to 25 miles per hour here in the city with higher gusts and higher winds just off the coast. Not really expecting storm surge issues. We are going to have minor coastal flooding, but those storm surge watches and warnings are over in Florida. We do have coastal flood advisories. It includes all areas around the lakes, all areas along the Mississippi Sound, and all areas off the Louisiana coast coast coastal areas one to three feet above normal lake areas one to two feet above normal. So here's what we've got going on tomorrow. About a 40% chance of those showers, heavy rain as we go into the afternoon hours, better rain chances as you head towards the coast and those rain or those winds are going to be a bit gusty tomorrow afternoon and that does include a higher wind gust as you head closer to the coast. We dry out by Saturday. Saturday is looking pretty nice. Better rain chances by Monday as another cold front approaches and the next week we're looking at highs in the upper 70s. We'll be right back.